Well, the history of Marinette as we know it was built on the backs of people who signed up to work in the logging industry. That's right, and tonight's Small Towns trip, NBC 26's Eric Kress takes us to a museum that documents that history of the taxing work that created a community. On Stevenson Island in Marinette, there's a one-of-a-kind museum that captures a moment in time in the late 1800s when Marinette was on the cutting edge of expansion. At one time we were about 16,000 people during the boom era, so to speak. Now we're down to less than 11. This is the Logging Museum, a place that showcases a window into Marinette's history that produced great changes in a matter of a handful of decades. It only actually extended about 50 years. Here you'll find the equipment, tools, and pictures from the 1860s to 1917, when the logging industry was thriving in Marinette. I've heard that we built about a third of uh, Chicago after the Chicago fire. So a lot of it must have gone to Chicago, went to Milwaukee. A tour of the museum will walk you through what it was actually like to be a lumberjack. Get up in the morning, work, you're tired, you go to bed, you sleep. You get up before the sun gets up and you start all over again. This was hard and taxing work. Every meal served to these jacks was consumed as if it were part of the job. You were not allowed to talk at the table. Uh, you came in, you ate breakfast, grabbed your coffee and, and left. Many of the jacks were farmers who would get out of their fields during the winter and head to the woods. This was an opportunity for them to make cash and pretty decent daily wages for their time. Some of the better cutters and stuff would make maybe a buck and a half. Some maybe up to two bucks. So if you want to take a look at how the logging industry helped shape a community and left its mark on history, they would stamp the ends of each log with their brand. Consider checking out the Marinette Historical Museum for a one-of-a-kind exhibit that showcases how real work can be marveled at to the extent that you'll go down in history for it. With NBC 26 covering small towns, I'm Eric Crest. Quite a look back into history.